Hey guys, how's it going? Forged Awesome here, and I have a video that's long overdue. And it's for my one year on this channel. I've done this channel for a year, and it's been about a month afterwards now, but I've done this channel for a year. And in that year, I got 134 subscribers, which is the most amazing thing that has happened to me in my lifetime. I know that <laughs> it's only 134 forged, you're freaking out. But no, it's literally the greatest thing that could have happened to me over the last year. And I can't thank you guys enough for it. About a year and a half ago, a lot of crazy shit was going on in my life. My a man I would consider my grandpa, he wasn't technically my legal grandpa, but a man I would consider my grandpa died. <clears throat> and that shot me down, but then things just got worse from there. Things went down to my parents started arguing and divorced. My sister, she was out of her mind at the time. No no offense to my sister. I love her so much. And everything I tried to get out of this hole that was just kind of slowly building in my family wasn't working. My friends had left me at this time. And I, I had a few friends, obviously, but a lot of them just didn't stick around. And my life was going downhill quick. I'll put it that way. Things were just at one at a lot of points, not just one point, at a lot of points I just didn't see why it mattered to keep going. I mean, I tried everything I could to get out of this hole. I wrote in that time I write a lot. <laughs> you guys, I don't know if you guys know this about me if you're new to the channel or actually some of the people who are old to the channel, I guess I'll say. But I write a lot and during that time I wrote I think 20 different full notebooks about how life sucked and <laughs> these deep and dark things that just kept coming into my mind because I needed to get them out <laughs> or I'd freak. I was in a really, really bad place and I look like crap right now. I'm sorry. I just looked at my camera and I was like, oh my God. But no, I wrote about 20, 30 different full notebooks just of stuff I can't believe I read them now and I can't believe that was me a year ago or a year and a half ago and six months in which is a year ago I was almost done there was no place I had to go I had, my family at that time was in some problems with that and we were almost kicked out of our house, which means I would have been homeless. My grades were down. My future was just gone for me in my head. And everything was done. <laughs> everything was done. There was no chance I had of getting out of this hole. I That's what I had come to in my brain is that I had no chance of climbing out of this hole. And... In all these notebooks I wrote, that's what I wrote, is there's no chance. No matter, Sometimes it was fiction, and in the fiction, the character had no chance of climbing out of the hole like I did. And <laughs> I was down. But then finally came my one friend, and like I said, I know I said I, don't have, I didn't have any friends. I was limited, and I love the guys who have stuck with me all this time. My one friend, and he's in my first video, uh, his name is Michael, and Michael, you've seen on the channel before, he was here during the live stream, but Michael was the one who convinced me to make a YouTube channel, <laughs> and at first it was the stupidest idea, I just, I thought I'd start it like I'd started everything else, and it would just lead to more and more pain, and sorrow, and more pain. I mean, I thought it was just going to lead to nothing. And I would just have to re either restart again or realize that my life was worthless. But I kept it going. <laughs> I 
I just kept going. I had to do it. I had, this was the first thing I'd ever done where I just I couldn't give up no matter how much I wanted to. Sometimes there were points where I just and it was early, it wasn't now, but there were points where I just wanted to give up and never come back, hide in a hole for my whole life and die in that hole. <laughs> not do anything but then came my first subscriber my first subscriber other other than my mom okay my mom she's been this first subscriber since forever and that's amazing but no then came my first just out of nowhere subscriber and that meant a ton to me that was mind-blowing someone took their time out of their day to tell me that I was worth it that my channel, maybe there was something to this. And after that one came another one, and another one, and another one. And in one year, I'm at 134 subscribers. That means 134, well, okay, 133 minus my mom. Well, no, screw it, my mom too. 134 people came out of their way to tell me that I was worth it. I was worth something. That this wasn't just a dream. This this was a reality. I mean, and I know that that sounds just like I'm dreaming, but if you got 130 people in a line and you had each one come up to like here's how I think of it. If 134 people were in a line, each one came up and gave me a hug. That'd be 134 hugs I'd have to go through to get to the end of that line. That's a lot of hugs. <laughs> That's a lot of hugs. And it's supported me my whole way through this year. And like I said, going back to the, a year and a half ago is rough because I can't imagine that was me. I can't. Things turned around. After I started this YouTube channel, I realized people weren't just there to tell me I'm pointless people weren't there to tell me that I was wrong there was a, commu a community excuse me a community for me of people who were there to help me out and I can't thank any of you enough I couldn't go up to you individually and give you a million dollars and have it be enough it means so much to me that there are 134 people who took their time to tell me that I was worth something. It It's a lot. So, first off, I just want to thank you again. Thank you very much. It It's amazing to think where I am now. And, I'm, I mean, I'm, if you got someone to talk to me on the street, or if you talk to me on the street nowadays, it'd be pretty hard to find me angry. I don't, I'm definitely not in that place I was before. I'm, I love life, man. <laughs> I, I, there's, I mean, I love it. <laughs> I love everything, man. And I know I sound like I'm smoking something. I'm not smoking anything. This is 100% just me telling you guys thank you so much for helping me through that last year and everything. It I couldn't have done it without you guys. I I'd probably be somewhere in a morgue in a gravestone or on the street somewhere doing something. If it wasn't for you guys, I kid you, uh, it sounds ridiculous, but I kid you not, that's where I was at. And I realize I don't make money through this, I don't, I never plan on making money through this, <clears throat> and I never plan on being famous through any of this, I don't want to be famous, I just, I just want you guys to know that <clears throat> I'm building a community for you. I'm building a community for people like me who just don't know what to do. <laughs> they're in a spot where they, they're done. 
And I want to tell them every time that there is a place you can go and there is, I believe in you. I believe in you 100%. You don't have to be afraid. It, you can do something. And I will... You can do anything. Literally anything. There's nothing on this... You, If you want to go discover the first unicorn... Go discover the first unicorn. I believe in you. You can do it. If you want to be the owner of the Pepsi Cola company, go do it. I believe in you 100%. And that, those sound crazy, but there's so many crazy things in this world that are possible. And I believe whatever your dream is that you can do it 100%. And... My dream one year ago was to end it, but now it's, I see it, there's so much more, and that's only 134 people who've told me that, that's so cool, I, thank you, I, I, I know I, I'm probably rambling, like, this is all just a crazy rambling kid at 1227, yeah, that's right, it's 1227 when I made this. But thank you. It means way more than I think anyone could ever imagine. Un unless you want to imagine it, then I support you all the way. You can do it. <laughs> wow, that was probably the most OCD correction I've ever made. Anyways, guys. Thank you. A, a ton. I don't want to ever end a video again where I just half-ass say th thank you, have a good day. I regret it every time and I can't do it to myself again and know that I'm sending you guys off without the respect you all deserve for helping me. So thank you. And with that, I'm Forged Awesome. Subscribe if you haven't. It like I've explained it means so much and have a fantastic day have a great day I'll talk to you guys later